Hey everyone, I'm James, this is Maths Kitchen, and this is week 10 in my 20 week series all about helping you to do as well as you possibly can in your GCSE Maths. This week I'm sharing with you all the very best resources to help you get through your GCSEs. There are absolutely masses of resources available, so I'm gonna break this video down into a few different categories. And everything I mentioned in the video, I will leave a link to in the description below. So you don't need to make any notes as we go along. Now, almost everything that I mention is free and online. There, there are one or two exceptions to that. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use all the resources that I mentioned to you know, pull them together to give you a really effective revision strategy. Right, let's have a look at the first category then. So the first category is if you're looking for questions on a particular topic, you know you've got a subject in mind, you really want to practice, you really want to revise, how are you gonna do that? Well, the first site I want to mention is my own mathskitchen.com and over there we've got for free access to everybody there is a topics page where you can search through for any topic you can arrange those by level of difficulty or by particular area as well if you prefer so that's a mathskitchen.com but there are plenty of other options too um, Corbett Maths has worksheets arranged by all the different topic types as well, um, as does Maths Genie. Maths Genie has loads of exam style question booklets that you can either do from the site or you could print them out if you prefer to do it that way, along with solutions, model answers, that kind of stuff as well. And a final website, bland.in, where you can find a similar thing, booklets of exam style questions arranged by topic. If you want to work through some past papers or some practice papers, there are also loads of places you can do that. Two I would recommend, I've already mentioned both of them actually. Corbett Maths has lots of practice papers and Maths Genie also has lots of papers with worked solutions and the mark schemes and so on. So both perfect for that. So the next category is revision notes and top of that list is the mighty BBC GCSE Bite Size. There is masses and masses of stuff there. It's also broken down by the exam board. So if you just want Ed Excel specific stuff or AQA specific stuff, you can search on there for that. In addition to that, Mr. Barton Maths has a downloadable PDF of pretty concise notes that covers more or less everything you're gonna need for your maths GCSE. And my final one for this is an offline resource. It's those CGP revision guides. I think they're pretty good. They're definitely good value for money. They're nice and cheap, and they've got everything that you'll need all in one book. And you can also get the workbooks that go with them to practice lots of questions that are in those revision guides as well. And my final category, and if you're watching this, you're probably actually already familiar with some of these because that category is video lessons. There are loads here on YouTube. Um, Hegarty Maths, of course, has hundreds of videos, covers everything, as does Corbett Maths, hundreds of videos, really, really good. I've got lots of explanatory videos as well, so do have a look around on my channel if you're searching for something. In addition to that, I really like Simon Deakin. He has lots of walkthroughs of past papers and exam questions. He's also a contributor to the Maths Kitchen website, so some of his videos appear on the Maths Kitchen website, as do the videos of Miss Banks, who I really, really like as well, so do go and check her videos out as well. As I said, links to all of these in the description below. So that's a list of some of the resources that are available to you. There is more than enough there to get you through your maths exam. Um, the question is though, how can you use those to maximum effect? Well, if you've seen some of my other videos, my earlier videos in this series, I talk about uh, there are like two really, really big things. The first one is just practice, 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 right? And that is daily practice. Reasonably small amounts, just keep everything ticking over. 10, 20 minutes a day, five, six, or even seven days a week, um, just to keep yourself fresh and keep that sort of maths brain going. I recommend a daily workout on my website, mathskitchen.com. That is freely available to everybody. Five or six questions every day, just to keep things ticking over. If you are a signed up member of my website, then those daily workout questions are tailored to you based on your ability, based on your target, based on things that you got right or things that you got wrong as you've been working on the website. We develop a picture of you and give you just the right questions to help you to improve as quickly as possible. But there are other places you can do that. Corbett Maths has five questions that he prints every day and you can choose the level of ability that you want from his website. They're more traditional kind of booklets that you might want to print out. And then another really, really big part is 
pushing on that place where you know you tend to get stuck. So if you've done a past paper recently, maybe a mock, or you've just done one on your own, you know that there is a place where it starts to get quite tricky, okay? And so you will have a feel for the sorts of subjects that you, you feel like you probably could do with a little bit of practice, but you can't quite do them yet. Those are the ones that you want to practice, okay? So that is where you want to be going to either watching videos um, or looking at some online notes, something like that, and then practicing some questions from one of the sites that I mentioned at the start where you can search by particular topic, okay? So two key things to your revision, regular small amounts of practice and then some focused practice on particular topics, but topics that you feel a sort of a within grasp okay there's no point going for kind of level nine topics if you're currently working around a level four or a level five they're just gonna you're just gonna get frustrated if you do that you want to be just trying to nudge everything along and then the final thing is just to ask for help if you need it if you've got any questions i'm very happy to answer them if i can just leave them in the comments below i do read them all i do respond to all of them but of course use your teachers they're a great resource i'm sure They'll be very, very happy to help you should you need it. If you're stuck on a particular question, you will be surprised how quickly they can probably help you. If it's not in a lesson, if you manage to catch them at break time or lunchtime or after school, you you know, very often you can help somebody in just a couple of minutes, you can show them something that they've been stuck with, okay? So go and badger and annoy your teachers, asking for help all the time. Maybe ask them if they've got any past papers they've got, that, you know, that you could do, that kind of stuff, okay? But yeah. Keep working, keep practicing, try and do little and often every day um, and keep watching these videos. I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you very much for joining me today.